Funke Akindele and her husband, JJC Skills, have both been sentenced to 40 days community service with a fine of 100,000 naira each. The sentence was given by Chief Magistrate Yewande Ajea Fuwa at the Ogba Magistrate Court on Monday, April 6, 2020, after the celebrity couple was found guilty of hosting a house party during the government ordered lockdown. According to the magistrates, the couple is also to go into self-isolation for 14 days in an undisclosed location. The location where the couple will be self-isolating will be decided by the Lagos State Ministry of Health. While the community service, they are to serve three hours per day, excluding Saturdays and Sunday, and must eight visit ten public places to educate people on the consequences of not complying with directives on coronavirus. We we'll still have with us in the studio legal practitioner Liboros Oshoma. Thank you for staying with us still, Liboros. My pleasure. Now, this, this is somebody, I mean, Nigeria's expected so much from, um, social responsibility, but we saw she contravened the directive of the government, the order to stay at home and not just um, creating a situation where there could be further spread of this virus. I, I need your two cents on this. Yeah. Um... Uh, thank you. Uh, first and foremost, before I, I came here this morning, I, I, I had to ask for people's uh, views on my various, you know, social media platform, and the views have been, you know, what I can summarize in three folds. You know, one, um, the fact that uh, being a celebrity, she ought to understand that people look up to her, and uh, not just being a celebrity, but a brand ambassador for the National Center for Disease Control. And then also, who has been the face of the tour, you know, advertising why people should sit down at home. Yeah, the, Secondly, the, sorry, sorry to cut you. The NCDC came, came out to the bank that, that she, she isn't necessarily the ambassador, but they, they supported the, the tour um, campaign uh, that was so on, which she was a part of. Whether it was the yes. brand ambassador for NDCDC, but that the, the tour also is supporting yes. that campaign. Yes. And, and so that she ought to understand the role she occupies. And then secondly, that, you know, this idea of putting your life in the public you know, consistently, that there's need for sometimes some people to be circumspect in putting their life in the public. Thirdly, that, you know, um, the fact that you are up there or a celebrity, the law should apply equally. And some people also have argued that, um, you know, people have condemned, a lot of people have condemned and given knocks to her fellow celebrity who had been supporting her, or oh, why not this, why not that, that the issue is, the fact that somebody had committed an offense, you know, whether be he, he or she a celebrity, it's immaterial. The law should take its course. And that the law swiftly did that. But one other thing that a lot of people found out was the crowd at the magistrate courts. If you see the picture, I was even embarrassed that this is even worse than the party that the state government is charging Funke Akindele for. And that the attorney general should be reprimanded for, you know, I, gathering that kind of crowd over a matter like this because that also violates the 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 menace or, or that they were trying to kill yes and then lastly the people also a lot of people are happy that lagos state government had been able to send a strong signal to people and so and that these are these are the ways you enforce laws you really don't need the army to to go into the street to begin to beat people up to enforce laws, that there are procedures for enforcing law. And one of them is, you know, if you violate the law, the, there are consequences, yes. and the consequences should immediately take its course. And that, you know, apologies from um, Funke Akindele was not enough. And the la another point I, I also need to note is the fact that some people said, look, let's publicists, a higher, let's um, celebrate higher publicists publicist. to manage their image, because you are no longer just you, you know, but you mirror the image of the society. And, and for me now, my point really is the fact that, you, you know, it's always easy for us to say, oh, yes, so and so person flaunted the law, why were they not touch? Or you had some politicians. Let's use this to begin to, you know, s you know create a new hope for the people that, irrespective of your status, let the law take its course. And then let's also see this government directive as something we should take seriously because it is, government is not happy asking, asking people to sit back at home. Yes. If it is something they could manage by you going to work and coming back, you know, they would do it. I know usually even in the studio like this will probably be, you have two guests, but because of compliance also, you have to also maintain the social distancing. Yeah, but people like are back people yeah, people the fact that not so much a palliative was put in place for this lockdown and which questions um, 
if they really thought about this, if there was much celebration about this before the cessation order. I agree with you completely that, you know, what we have a knee jerk approach. Um, government, you, you, you know, I, I think what is happening now should, you know, give us an opportunity to put on our thinking cap. I did say in the course of the week that if the general hospitals that this government had neglected, some of the big names we hear now, if these hospitals have also neglected them at this time of crisis, it would have been disastrous. And so this has been upon it, it would be an opportunity for them to begin to look inward. Think of what you can do to encourage people, to give hope, and not just, you know, shove down uh, directives down their throat. And Lagos State Government had, to some extent, to the limitation, you know, that they have been able to manage with, had done that. Also, this brings us to the issue of a federal structure. Because if the states are viable, they won't need to look at a consistent federal government to come to their aid. So they'll be able to do some things that they can do while the federal government will support. we we'll see what is happening in America. You know, it is a collaboration. But here, it is almost entirely dependent on a federal government to give. And then we've seen how the private sector also had come, you know, big time to support most of uh, this state's government. And those are the kind of collaboration we need to see. And then this fund should be judiciously used. And when people talk about palliative, I've also quickly, I've also heard people say, share money, share money, share money. This is not the time to begin to share money like America, because if you share the money and then we are not a producing country, you, at the end of the day, you end up creating inflation because you have more money chasing fewer goods. This is the time for collaboration. Let the states that are not producing collaborate this with the states that are producing agricultural products and then buy from them in bulk and then do what you call price control. So, and then those that cannot afford it, then you, you, you can now begin to give food and, and you, you know. Legal Luminaire Oshoma Liboros, thank you very much for your contribution on this hour. Okay.